I'm here with Vaughn Hammond at Kimmel Orchard and Vineyard, and we are going to be talking about edible landscapes. Vaughn, there is such interest in edible landscapes these days, and a lot of homeowners want them in their own backyard, whether it's rural or residential or urban. And behind me is a really interesting sort of a system that appears to be apples. What exactly is this? I'm glad you said it looked like some sort of apple because everybody that we have come through or oftentimes people are going, what kind of grapes are those? Because they are on a trellis. So these are actually Honeycrisp apples on a dwarf rootstock and they, you know, they do look like grapes, but they are apples. So in describing a trellis system for the homeowner, what are the components? What goes into constructing this sort of a system and what, it, what is the point of using it? So the trellis system itself is, is as tall as the trees will get, which is approximately 10 foot. In this situation, we have 25 foot between posts. Uh, we have the end post assembly, which is a rather hefty uh, treated timber with a dead man and what that does is actually supports the weight of the whole trellis system. So 12 foot post, two foot into the ground, 10 foot above ground and then high tensile wire for the wires and there's five of them placed approximately two to two and a half foot between each wire. If a homeowner wanted to use a trellis system, are there differences in terms of apple spacing or fruit tree spacing? And what about the pests and the pruning practices? Have those changed at all over the years? Okay, so the spacing traditionally in fruit production, let's, let's talk apples. Uh, it's about uh, 15 to 18 foot between trees, sometimes 20 with semi-dwarf trees, and then 20 to 25 foot between rows for the equipment purposes, that equates to about 187 trees an acre. Today with this system, which by the way is the direction that most of production orchards are going to today, this spacing is three to three and a half foot between trees and about 12 foot between rows, which equates to just a little over a thousand trees per acre. Absolutely, a homeowner could use this in their landscape situation. Uh, a, a great barrier between neighbors or different areas in your landscape. It could, could be a shield against uh, something that you might not want to have seen, like a building or compost pile or something along those lines. And as far as maintenance and how that affects the maintenance of the tree, actually maintenance becomes much easier. No longer do you necessarily need a ladder or a chainsaw or a big sprayer to spray the trees. You can actually get by with using a hand pump sprayer for pesticide application, a lopping shears and a hand pruners instead of a chainsaw for pruning. And you don't need a ladder for harvesting. So when you're up on the ladder and you got 40 pounds of apples around your neck, it's not a very pleasant experience. Now you can do it all from the ground. So it's much easier for the homeowner. So it sounds a, a lot safer for the homeowner. A lot safer, <laughs> absolutely. And no chainsaws when it comes to pruning. pruning. Which is also perfect. That's so, right. so if people were going to do a small little trellis system at mm -hmm. home with three or four, eight, five trees even, what exactly would be the lifespan for any sort of fruit trees in a home landscape situation? In this system you're looking at, so with it being a dwarf rootstock, the dwarf rootstock imparts several different characteristics, but one of the characteristics is precocious bearing, which means it, it will bear fruit at a very young age. It will actually start bearing fruit at two years if you let it. You want it to gain, the plant to gain a little bit of energy, so we like to leave them go for three or four years. But let's say starting harvest at year three, you can consistently get harvest up to about year 15 and the yields on each of these little trees is between a bushel and a bushel and a half of apples or 40 to 60 pounds of apples as they mature. You can expect harvest from year three to about 15 years and at that point in time then they start to, to peter out a little bit. So perfect lifespan, this sounds like a great system. We really appreciate your information. Bob. Absolutely my pleasure.